This is a rose arch I built. Um, I use the pins to anchor everything. Then I put this for holding the thing. It's practically it doesn't hold anything. It's just a weight bearer. No, it's not even weight bearer. Yeah, it weighs the weight of this is and this. Okay, so that holds the weight. Then I folded some hazel from this side to that side, from this side to this side, met them in the middle, tie uh, with a cable tie, tied them. I did the same for all. Also put these two these two arches with not natural tendency of them is that for pull together. So when I put this they will stay where they are, the shape of the arch will be kept. Then I thought I would put a ring around there. So I'll put the first ring. Then I thought, oh, let me do this like the church that I saw, or York Abbey or something. So I put these two Y-shaped ones and join them in the middle with that ring. Then I thought I will do this also in the middle of it, of a cover. So I'll put this, I repeated all of these stages I'm talking about for every corner. So, uh, because of the uh, limitation of the amount of the good straight wood that I had, I used a triangular shape. That practically is a prism, and on top of it is a prism dome. So, you never saw such a thing possible. But also, I have a limitation of a space. Probably that was the best thing to do do a prism shaped dome. And that's a rose arch. And on each side of it, uh, I planted uh, beautiful roses, climbing roses. And at that side, as a fencing uh, mechanism, I planted a rose, which gives white flowers, but at the same time has very big thorns. So it will be like a hedge for us also, when it grows, hopefully. God willing. And so we will have a rose arch now traditional way is a rose arch arbor